Find these tremendous Mazda savings then right now at Team Mazda. Get 0% financing on any new Mazda CX-5, Mazda CX-30, Mazda CX-50, or the Mazda CX-90. Find out just how much you can save at Team Mazda on Airline. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining us for Nine News Now. I'm Tisha Powell. We're learning new information about a fatal late-night crash on South Sherwood Drive. Officials say that this happened around 1030 Tuesday night when they say a driver overcorrected while speeding, slamming into a light pole. Baton Rouge police tell us 38-year-old Jose Maximo Gonzalez Ortega was driving the car with 28-year-old Yeni Varelli Escobar Alfaro riding along. Both died in the crash. We also know a child was in the back seat of the vehicle. They were badly injured and taken to the hospital. This is a developing story. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. Baton Rouge police are looking for the woman you see here. That's 23 year old Armani Williams, and they say she's wanted for theft, access, device fraud, and exploitation of an infirmed patient. If you know anything that could help investigators, you're asked to call that Crime Stoppers number on your screen 344 Stop. Baton Rouge detectives are asking for your help to find several people they believe are connected to the death of Elijah Moore. You may recall in June of last year, the 19-year-old died from injuries connected to a shooting. It happened on Acadian Thruway near Fairfield and Madison Avenue. Police say these three people on your screen might be behind the shooting and left Moore dead. If you see them or you know where they could be, you can contact Crime Stoppers. We now know the identity of a man killed in a fatal shooting in Iberville Parish last night. Officials say 65-year-old Herman Harris was found in his home with one bullet wound. Deputies say they are still looking for leads. For now, anyone with information that can help investigators can call the Iberville Parish Sheriff's Office. That number is 687-3553. Just ahead, we have a check of your evening forecast and your drive home. Don't go anywhere. Let's take a look at our Sky 9 camera. I feel like today is a little better than yesterday because at least we have a little rain in the forecast. Let's get to Jeff Morrow for a look at the weather. Jeff. Yes, yeah, a much needed rain for many locations as well. And we've got some scattered showers and thunderstorms on First Alert Radar Network right now as we speak. Majority of the action right now north of Baton Rouge. So as you take a zoom, then look at Metro Baton Rouge, you can see we do have one little cluster that's weakening, but it's in on an outflow boundary and that could develop a few more showers and storms that could work their way into East Baton Rouge Parish. Big thunderstorm right now over Zachary. That's stretching into sections of northern West Baton Rouge Parish and southern Point Capete Parish. But then you go across the state line. We've got numerous thunderstorms working their way from east to west. One kind of impacting northern points of St. Helena Parish, stretching into Amen and Wilkinson counties. Woodville under the gun, certainly up towards uh, Gloucester and Centerville, dealing with some showers and thunderstorms right now. Down towards the coast, most of the action has moved into lower Acadiana. We've got some lingering thunderstorms, though, around Highway 9. 90 and Terrebonne and Lafouche parishes, but things have settled down for the most part here in St. Mary and Assumption parishes from some earlier thunderstorms. So you're taking a look towards the east. You can see one of those thunderstorms in the distance here as we're looking past the downtown area. Uh, 90 right now at Baton Rouge Metro Airport. So we're starting to see at least some influence of the additional cloud cover as well as the passing showers. Now right now I've got forecast temperatures working their way down through the 90s, but now that we're at 90 degrees, probably going to be working our way slowly down through the 80s. We'll keep some scattered mention of showers and storms in the forecast for the next couple of hours, and then we'll gradually begin to wind those rain chances down into the evening and overnight. Let's give you a heads up to what we're dealing with on our roadways and give your first alert to your Wednesday commute. You can see we've got slowdowns mainly on I-10 eastbound as you kind of make your way into the city right now. So it's from the bridge all the way through the 10-110 interchange, and this is that camera shot at the 10-110 interchange, slowing down traffic coming from the downtown area. I-110 south from the Governor's Mansion curb to the 10-110. We're at four minutes right 
right now. And then that continues till you get past about Acadia. Once you get through college, things thin out. So overall, from LA 415 Lobdale to the 1012 interchange, we're sitting at 22 minutes with an hour speed of 21 miles per hour. Tisha. All right, Jeff, thank you. And remember, the 9 News app is a great way to keep up with things going on in our area. If you haven't already, be sure to download the 9 News app. I'm Tisha Powell. Thank you for joining us for 9 News Now. And be sure to join us again in 25 minutes for 9 News at 4. It's Truck Month at Team Toyota, where you'll find great savings on the reliable and versatile Toyota Tacoma. Or get 1.99% financing on the new Toyota Tundra or 3,000 customer cash. Don't miss these tremendous savings during Truck Month.